Good morning, everyone. It is a kind of crisp afternoon here in North Georgia. We slept until 10 a.m. this morning because Graham got here at 2 a.m. last night. And we're out here hiking today. So Aaron and Killian are still here. And we're going to try to find some snakes here in this kind of montane region of North Georgia. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have the GoPro on and we'll see how this goes. A what? A garter? Dude, that's a big one too. Look at that. I'm gonna try to get a camera and see two of that guy. Well, that is a decent way to start the day. A nice big adult garter snake on this controlled burn. Not something I've actually seen at this spot before, so that's kind of interesting as well. But really good looking snake. We're gonna get some photos real quick and then uh, get a better look at it. I'll take a photo of it. Alright, let's get a look at this girl. We're gonna take some better photos of her, but nice and warm. Look at how good she is. She just <laughs> What an awesome snake. Alright, well we're gonna get some photos of this girl and leave her to her business. She is so oh wait, can you not can you just sit there so I can she's actually posed like perfectly Yeah. I love a good a garter snake in a habitat. It's not very often we get to actually find these snakes on foot. And like I said, this is the first one I've even seen at the spot, so. This might be my wife. Or... Like a true Eastern garter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, decent way to start the day. We're gonna get some photos of this girl and keep moving. It's a little, little skeet man. Couple scorpions. Come here, dude. There you go. Aaron just flipped that. <laughs> dude! You want to know what's messed up? I walked by that. Dude! Oh. So, Graham has a worm snake, and, and they called me over to see the worm snake, and I walked over just in time to see Aaron flip this thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is the biggest. North Georgia Scarlet King by far, and one of, if not the, the biggest Scarlet Kings I've ever seen. I mean, that is absurd. I've seen very few armura that big. I haven't seen an armura this big. Here's here's the worm snake and what Graham could have flipped had he not get distracted by the worm snake and let Aaron flip his rock. All right, everyone. Well, here's one more look at this incredible Scarlet King before we put him back under his rock. Oh. This is just an absolutely titanic individual for North Georgia. And I'm sure there's plenty of bigger ones out there, but this is definitely the biggest one I have personally seen. And an absolutely beautiful snake too. Very wide bands, nice red, kind of a creamy yellow instead of white in the, uh, the bands there. But fantastic snake overall. But we've still got a lot of habitat to hit, so we're gonna put this guy back under his rock and get back to it. I need a, I need a video. All right, guys, we're going to put this beauty back under a rock. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. All right, here you are. She's going to go under that one. That's fine. That's where it retreated to. Or after it flipped it. Yeah. Adios, snake. Wow. Red-bellied snake. There's a snake up here, there, red belly? Yeah, it looks like it. Sure enough, red belly double flip. All right, guys, well, here's our next snakes of the day. Two little red-bellied snakes under that stack of tin. These are kind of dull for red-bellied snakes. They're not particularly colorful, but nice to see stuff using it. And, uh, Nice additions to the diversity tally for the day. You found a ring neck, right? Three ring necks. So Graham got three ring necks. And uh, we've gotten a worm snake, three ring necks, a garter, two red bellies, and a scarlet king. Two and two Nerodia that I didn't get a look at. So it's been a good day numbers wise. All right, Aaron's gonna photograph the prettier red bellied snake since he doesn't get to see these guys often. And here's the, the less attractive one going back under 10. 
Well, the snakes have kind of been few and far between, but the ones that we found have been really good. This is a really nice looking corn snake, a little bit more coastal plain looking than we typically see in North Georgia too. So really handsome snake overall. I think he might be starting to go into shed, but he's not looking bad at all. He's nice and colorful still. So we're gonna get some quick shots and then we'll put him back under his tent. Kind of surprised it took us this long to get corn today, but I'm more surprised that we flipped it under tin rather than finding one under bark. But nice handsome corn. Uh, looks like a pretty young snake, but still an adult, young adult is what I'd call this age class. They definitely get a little bit bigger, but really good looking snake. We'll put him back under his tin. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. I'm not sure if I got enough for a complete video yesterday. We did see some really cool stuff, but the numbers were a little bit low. And I know like Graham saw a bunch of snakes that I didn't see because we got separated and stuff. So anyways, we are out here the next day in North Alabama, one of my favorite places in the country. And uh, we're gonna be looking for some of my favorite snakes, red milk snakes. So we've got a nice scenic view of a beautiful creek here. And uh, we're waiting on Aaron and Killian to get here and then we're gonna hit the woods. <laughs> he does, dude. Holy. Damn. Well, there's our first significant find in Alabama. Graham just found this stunning little red salamander. He's actually quite big, too. All right. Well, that is a fantastic animal to start the day with. One of the more vibrant red salamanders I've seen. They are super common in this area. But uh, normally they're not quite this nice. So... Good start to the day. We've only just kind of gotten out of the car, so we're gonna photograph this guy real quick and put it back under his rock. That is a stunning northern red salamander here in North Alabama. Oh, here's two ring necks. What kind are they here? Uh, southerns. They might be Mississippis, I don't know. So I got two ring necks. Graham got a ring neck. And and smashed his fingers. Smashed his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in some snakes. Now we just gotta find the right ones. But these are great food for milk snakes, so it's a good sign these guys are out. Another ring neck. Another ring neck. Two more ring necks. Graham just got a nice little Midwestern worm. I figured I'd show him real quick. Add to the species list for the day. But nice and clean, freshly shed. Really sharp looking, healthy little worm snake. Here in Western, Northwest Alabama, these guys are definitely Midwestern worms. So, really neat. Good looking snake. <laughs> we had a bad day. <laughs> what happened today? Well, I found a red salamander Killian embarrassed me at Olive Garden in front of my- Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Yesterday was a little bit brutal. We saw a real nice red salamander and good numbers of ringnecks and worm snakes. And that was about it. We had a real good time joking around and shooting the shit in the hotel room last night. And uh, Aaron and Killian parted ways with us today and headed back to Oklahoma. So it's just gonna be me and Graham for the rest of the week and we've got a lot on our docket. So first stop is this nice area here in North Alabama that I've been eyeballing for a long time. Really looking forward to getting out here and flipping some rocks. So we're gonna do just that and I will update you guys with how it goes. And I could see it. Oh, oh worm snake. Worm snake. That was kind of fast. First snake of the day. Well, we saw a couple of these guys yesterday and not too much else other than ring necks. So hopefully today isn't gonna go the same as yesterday. We're hitting a new spot for both of us. Neither of us have ever been here, but there's a lot of potential. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna get back to herping and hope we can get our main target for the day, which is milk snakes. So I'll put this guy back under his rock. Let's do it this way. Let's do it the other way. Slimy. Slime Amanda. Dude, look at that rock. I'm gonna grab him out of there. The cap rock provides our first ring neck of the day. 
We saw tons of these yesterday, more than we've seen probably in any one day this year. Look at this little millipede buddies. Super colorful little guys. But yeah, really handsome ring neck is our first one of the day. Another ring neck. Oh, I caught him in the grass. These guys kind of have a Mississippi look to them here. I wonder, now well, the belly looks normal. Could have had one. Worm snake. No, an earth snake. We found another snake. Well, yet another common fossorial, but it's a new species for the day. We have been racking up the fossorials the last couple days, and next to nothing else, it has been pretty frustrating. Even though I'm always glad to just be seeing snakes. At this point, it would feel really nice to see a king snake or a milk. Like super warm, super humid in late March, and this is all we can find. Yeah, corn should be all over this stuff. So, apparently there's two racers here. There's that one, and then down in the grass, there's another. Look at that. Both the same size, too. Yeah. Here, hold this. All right, I'll hold this one. <laughs> right on the finger, thanks, brother. Oh, this one's bigger. That one's is a little bigger. It's crazy how well concealed they were. <laughs> this is some great habitat. I can't believe this is all we've seen so far. These guys in the fossorials, but hey, at least we're getting some bigger snakes now. I'm not going to complain about that. All right, racer number one, back to your grass. We're going to photograph your friend. Oh, he's going under this big rock here. All right, second boy, back to your grass. Are you done with him? Oh, he actually just went straight back in the grass. All right, we're on the way back to the car to get a, uh, a camera charger for Graham and head to another spot. And there is our third black racer of the day, just chilling right there. I'm gonna get a quick picture and then we'll try to get a better look at him. There he is. Good looking snake, number three for this spot. But like I said, we're about to head to another area that will hopefully be a little more conducive to milk snakes. One got away. All right, first rock at the next spot that actually produced snakes. We had a nice little ring neck double. One of them disappeared, but here's the other guy. Decent size for around here, but hopefully this is a good omen. Whoa. He's large. <laughs> Holy green flip. Yeah. Is that a red back? No, it's a zig. Oh, he's nice. That Lillard slime is good too. That was a good mander flip. Oh, cage salamander, two of them. Nice. Good stuff, dude. That was a hell of a rock. Yeah, it was. My lifers. All right, guys, Graham just flipped two of these under the same rock. This guy's a cave salamander. They're actually closely related to the, the dwarf and two lion salamanders. They're in the same genus, Eurycia. Even though there are a lot of really cool salamanders in that genus, these guys are some of the biggest and most colorful. So, really unique animals. We'll put them back under his rock. Ring neck. There's no shortage of these guys out here. But All right, guys. Well, Graham just flipped our only first and only big snake at this spot, and it's not even that big. It's a juvenile black racer. And like Graham said in his video, if you're watching, morale is at an all-time low for us. <laughs> the weather couldn't be much better. The rocks couldn't be much better. And all we can seem to find is ringnecks and the occasional racer and lots of salamanders. The salamanders are nice to see, but it's springtime. We're ready for some snake action, and it's just not happening today. But hey, at least we've, we've got good numbers. It feels great out here. And we're probably about to make a reassessment and see if we can make something out of today because it has been a bit of a flop yet again. All right, everyone, we are back in Georgia and we're gonna try to wrap up our day here with a little bit of cover flipping. Just a couple of quick spots we're gonna hit on the way home. And I'm definitely gonna be wrapping this video up here regardless of how this goes because it's getting pretty lengthy right now, I believe. So yeah, we're gonna get to 10 flipping and I will let you guys know if we see anything. I'm gonna have the GoPro running, so if we find something, hopefully it'll be caught on camera. Richard got a black king in this, but I have still not even seen a snake in it. 
See how good it looks with these fire ants, though? Yeah. Bring next, next. two of them. That's good. He's how going he down the fire eaten? ant hole. He came out of it, dude. <laughs> yeah, they always do. They love this. Oh, what is that? Fraser. Is it? No, it's a rat. Oh. He's in the fire ants. Interesting. All right, let's flip through the layers there. That's a nice looking snake, dude. Yeah, it is. It's a really decent, decent rat. All right, guys. Well, that is probably the snake highlight of the day, honestly, other than maybe those clean racers we found. It's been a very fossorial type of day, which is... It's not a bad thing, but we've seen tons of ringnecks and tons of worm snakes, so it hasn't been the best video content overall. But this guy is definitely nice. He's nice and attractive, a lot darker than a lot of the gray rats we see in this part of northwest Georgia. So I'm not too upset with that. It's a decent snake to end the day on for sure. So we're just going to put him back under his cover and probably call it a day here. We might do a little bit of a salamander walk later, but I'm not sure how much of that I'll film unless we start getting into some good stuff. All right, buddy. Stay away from all those ants under there. Both of the, the snakes we've seen so far at this spot have been in ant mounds. Well, yeah, we, we saw two ring necks at that first spot, but yeah. Well, our little run to Alabama was very snaky, but very low on targets. In fact, we got none of our targets. <laughs> it was, uh, it was a fun time, and we definitely found some spots that I think are going to pay off in the future, but for now, it was a little bit of a bust. But anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Hopefully it was still a solid video for you guys. I, I know we did see a lot of snakes and some really cool salamanders too, so it was definitely a good couple of days, just not what we were hoping for, but you can't win them all. So I'm definitely gonna wrap this one up here though. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully next time, be a little bit more on target.